We are back at the Great Ace Attorney 2 Resolve, Episode 3, The Return of the Great Departed Soul. The grand end of the century Great Exhibition of London. Surely there is not a soul who has failed to hear of it. Wondrous new works of culture and industry from every corner of the globe had converged on Hyde Park. Welcoming over 50 million visitors. The last great hurrah of this century. Astonished and delighted people of all nations and ended on a note of resounding success. But as regards to the terrible catastrophe that occurred during the festivities, oh. very few were aware my friend Mr. Herlock Sholmes had a hand in unraveling the matter. For from the shadows, it was he who earnestly unearthed the facts of the case. So a man dead? And like the centerpiece of the great exhibition, which rose high into the skies of Hyde Park. Jones's brilliant deductions, as clear mm. and lofty as the Crystal Tower itself, brought mm. the truth to light. Alright. That's our preamble for this case. Let's see where it leads. At the showground of the great exhibition, which is absolutely packed with people. Oh, I gotta press stuff. The weather is unusually fine, and we're about to witness a most extraordinary scientific experiment. Huh. Oh, damn. Who are you all? Ladies and gentlemen, the 20th century will see steam engines and electrical power dominate the world. Whoa. Horse drawn carts will give way to the motor car. Ships will sprout wings and take to the skies. And today, we showcase even more advanced technology. A glimpse into the future. I like this dude. A world first. A demonstration of my super high voltage instantaneous kinesis machine. He feels like some type of like good old, uh, what do you call it? will literally be disassembled by a pulse of high voltage electricity and beams to another location. Ah. Uh, okay, this... Never, never mind, I might take back what I say. I'm skeptical now. Reassemble. I can't roll my R's. Oh, is this the man that's getting in? Oh, it is. Oh, he did. My man, dead as hell. <laughs> My god, this dude. In but a few moments from now, these gentlemen will, in the blink of an eye, complete an incredible journey through the air. To arrive an instant later on the Crystal Tower behind you! Good old mad scientist. Uh oh. Someone dead. So who dead? Who dead? Who dead? Oh, someone dead. 22nd of October, 9.36 a.m. Sholmes is sweet. Back at the lab again, and by back at the lab, I mean back at Sholmes' place. Rinosuke just chilling at home when he could be out at the festival. Rino, Rino, are you listening? Oh, sorry, um, what was that, Iris? <laughs> What's the matter with you? You've been miles away all morning. Didn't you like what I cooked for breakfast? No, 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 that's not it at all. Um, what were we talking about again? Today's paper, it's full of news about the Great Exhibition today. Ah, uh, yes, the Great Exhibition. I'd like to go sometime. And he's facing out again. You're really not your usual self today. You seem very down. Don't you agree, Helly? Oh, we're not the only ones down. Mm. Did you say something, Iris? 
Of course, you're even more down. Dot, dot, dot. Wow! When did you arrive, Mr. Norihodo? I've been here for about half an hour already. We've had breakfast together. What? Why didn't you mention it before? I um, thought you might have known I was here. You know, because breakfast? Myros mm, is quite right. You're clearly lacking in Vin. So much so that I didn't notice your presence. Thanks. Of course, I could deduce the reason perfectly well with one si with sim some simple observations. What? Let's see. Yes, for example, your tussled hair this morning with all its unruly spikes. Clearly, it can be deduced, therefore, that... Um, let me stop you there, Mr. Sholmes, because I think I can see where this is going. My hair always looks like this. It always has. Ever since we first met, in fact. I've said that before. Oh, really? How interesting. It just doesn't look like a haircut as such, I suppose. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Thanks again. Back to silence. It crossed my mind recently. It's been six months now. Six months? Since I was forbidden from working in court. For forbidden. So I've been wondering how much longer I'm gonna be banned. Oh, well, that would explain why you seem rather glum. What did he get banned for? I don't remember this. Don't you agree, Helly? Mm hmm. Did you say something, Iris? Ah, uh, back to Mopin. What the, what the hell are they doing over there? What's the matter of Mr. What's the matter of Mr. Sholmes today? He seems even more down in the dumps than me. I know, and the great exhibition is open. You'd think he'd be excited. Oh, why don't we all go see it together? I want to, of course I do, but I can't. Not for the time being. Why not? Why not? Why not? Because. I'm a great detective, after all. So you're embroiled in some tricky case that you can't be distracted from, is that it? I don't remember hearing that you're working on a case, Hurley. I don't know, is he of like a status quo? I suppose I should try to figure out what's going on. Alright. Give me one second. Alright, just had to check something real quick. Uh, you know what, let's do the good old examinations. Of the of the room as we do. <laughs> Every time I look at that machine, I can't help but thinking what a monstrosity it is. What's it called again? The Great Analytoscope. It can analyze absolutely anything, you know. It does seem incredible, and at the same time, incredibly useless. Ah, uh, but it looks impressive, doesn't it? So that makes it very useful. How does that make it useful? Because it means you can pawn it off for lots of money. The pawnbrokers always make idle remarks like, What an incredible looking machine. Uh, so Hadley often takes it to the pawn shop when he's a little short. Sounds like that thing pulls its weight around here more than I realized. By having its weight pulled around. <laughs> Charming. Charming, I'm sure. Books, papers, scientific lemons, blah 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 blah. Mrs. Sada wouldn't be able to help herself if she were here. She can't stand mess. Uh, is this the same conversation? Yeah, it is. Uh... Yeah, it's the same as it's always been. Don't think there's anything else over here. We can look at the Stradivarius. Ah, yes, it's Mr. Shrom. Is this violin made by someone famous? Yes, it's the Stradivarius. I'm afraid you'd have to save up for a hundred years before you could afford one, Runo. If I were to save up for a hundred years, I wouldn't choose to buy a vi violin, personally. Oh, what would you buy, then? I really have no idea. I think I'll have to do it so I can... F I think I'll have to do it so I can find out. 
Uh, let's look at the fireplace. I do love a good fire in the colder months. Watching the flames flickering and dancing about is just so very relaxing. Cleaning out the chimneys isn't so relaxing, though. No, getting covered in soot isn't my idea of fun. You know, Hully decided he was going to clean it out himself last year. But you can guess what happened, can't you? He got himself stuck inside the flue. The flue, eh? He's a very slim man, I admit, but there are limits to what a fully grown... To where a fully grown man can fit. Now every time he dozes off by the fire, he has nightmares about it. Uh, it's this stuff. Ah, all these different pieces of evidence from cases that Mr. Sholmes has solved are very interesting. The trouble is, how they forget things so quickly, he never remembers what, why these things are relevant. The other day, for example, he saw the orange pips that were there and decided to plant them in the garden. Pips? Yes, they're, they've all sprouted now. We have five new little plants. Oh, well, I didn't know what case they were from, but... If Mr. Sholmes can get oranges to grow outside in England, he should change his profession. This is a true, true thing. I have the huge metal chest with a lace cloth laid on it. Being used as a table for tea and coffee. It's very sturdy, that's for sure. And firmly locked shut. I feel like this is the same conversation. That chest contains my father's detailed records of how these many cases. So I've been led to believe, though personally I've never actually seen inside. And that's the way it will stay. Those pi Okay, yeah, the same conversation. I mean, it makes sense that eventually they would, they would have stuff that makes them, you know... Writing a conversation for this place you visit so many times and coming up with unique stuff every time is probably difficult, I would assume. I look forward to finding out what aroma your tea, tea will have, Iris, every single day. Ah, well, I infuse a different concoction of herbs from the garden every time, so it's never the same twice. Uh, this conversation, however, is not this different every time. Same conversation. Nothing new. The blue carbuncle. Oh, we already got that. I remember that title very well. I don't know if we're getting anything new here, actually. Yeah, this is all the same stuff we've done in the past, so... I'll examine this, and then we'll get to it. And yet another conversation we've already seen back in case two. Alright. Now we can actually converse. But first off, you want to see my badge? Oh, um, Mr. Sholmes, about this. Shh, not another word. Ah, oh, yes, I see. This would be a collar for a breed of miniature canine with a particularly long neck. And for winter use. Actually, it's the armband I always wear that symbolizes my role as a defense lawyer. Precisely what's... Which leads us to, to but one conclusion. Your arm is, in fact, the particularly long neck of a miniature canine. I'm starting to wish I'd never shown him this now. The man's barking mad. <laughs> Charming. Uh, event six months ago. Flashback. Half a year ago now. I took on the defense of a young girl in a trial heard at the Old Bailey. Oh, so it's case five related. What at first seemed like a simple case of murder that took place at a London pawnbrokery. Turned out to be one part of a much more far-reaching plot that involved the British government. Oh, did he get sus did he get banned from law because of the stuff he pulled during that trial? And how he'd like expose government secrets and said he didn't care that he even made it. He wouldn't even care if he made it an enemy of an entire country. During the course of the trial, it was found that I made an unavoidable, yet at the same time, unforgivable mistake. Yep. Words fail me, this situation is utterly deplorable. Mr. Norhodo. Uh. Well. I, I went to go change his outfit, because this game has specific outfits that you can get his... Oh, no. 
Well, there goes the surprise, I guess. I was going to have this be a thing that I... Okay, well, thanks for the discrepancy game by having the sepia flashback. Well, this is some comedy for you. Yes, my lord. Good lord, I was going to have that happen because this game... This case takes place after the frickin' first game, so I was just like, Oh yeah, I put on the new outfits, what could go wrong? And now we're having frickin' flashbacks to a game when you couldn't even have these outfits on. Because these are outfits that you are only allowed to use in Great Ace Attorney 2. And yet they're using it for f in a f and yet they're having a flashback to someone in the first game. Uh, whatever. We've seen this before. Of course, my lord. And of course it had to be just a super short. They could have just used, like, words or something. In the end, I had my right to represent people in court revoked. I was told I had to spend my my time in research and study, so that's what I've been doing. You have, haven't you, Reno? Reading all those big fat tomes about British law up in your room, and the notes about Sholm's old, ca old cases. Brewing Iris's special blends of tea fetching my daily bread for me. You've become something of a manservant around here. Start on the silverware next, Master Norahedo. Well, I'm thinking of going to ask the powers that be to reconsider. Specifically Lord Strongheart at the British Supreme Court on Whitehall. Lord Strongheart? Ah, oh, the delightful Lord Chief Justice. Not my favorite fellow. He's not mine either, but he's the man I have to talk to. He's the only one who can grant permission for me to start working in the courts again. I came to Britain to start to become the best lawyer I could. And I can't do do that just sitting around here. The Great Exhibition. The whole of London has been swept up in this Great Exhibition, hasn't it? The most advanced science, the most modern technology, the finest works of art, and feats of engineering. For the next six months, our capital will be showcasting ca these things, and the world will be watching. Ah, uh, do you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to look down on London from one of those lovely balloons. Look down on? Do you mean those things fly? Yes, of course. They fly high in the sky and don't even need wings to do it. All you need is hot air. B but how? How does hot air have anything to do with flying? It makes no sense. I can't understand it at all. That's true of a lot of new scientific discoveries. Most people can't understand them at first. But in a hundred years' time, all these things will just be common knowledge. I suppose they might be. Mind you, some of the science being demonstrated seems very questionable. Something went wrong on, on the open experimentation stage yesterday, apparently. There was a huge explosion. Still, I wish I'd seen it, though. I'd love to see how bad some of these scam experiments really are says the innocent ten-year-old girl. See here, every page of this paper carries some article or other about the Great Exhibition. But the brighter things shine, the darker the shadows that are cast behind them. Personally, I find myself drawn to the darkness, to the impenetrable. This is my proper atmosphere. Huh. Shadows cast behind. Shadows cast by the mighty. Do, 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 do. Is that a metaphorical way of referring to the back page of the paper? What about your gloomy mood? Are you investigating a particularly tricky case at the moment, Mr. Sholmes? Mm, you could say that, I suppose. Nothing more to add. It's not like you. What sort of case is it? Shh! Quiet, Mr. Narhodo. We must not discuss it here. You never know who might be listening. You're acting very strangely, Hurley. What do you mean, Iris? Well, usually. The more mysterious and complicated the case is, the, more, the better Hurley's mood. Uh. Is it really a case that's bothering you? Iris, please, you mustn't exercise your... Astute powers of observation and deduction on me without an invitation. Remember what I always say. Put yourself in the shoes of the individual about whom you're making deductions. You say that, do you? 
You, Mr. Sholmes. Never mind, once I've had a cup of tea, I must make my way at once to the crime scene. Ugh. That was a deep sigh. Usually that's my forte. Alright. Guess that means we have to look at the back of this now. Oh, here's this dude. Every article on the front page is news about the Great Exhibition. Public experiments to demonstrate brand new scientific ideas, cultural exhibits from around the globe. It's also positive and hopeful about the coming century. We must all go to see it properly before too long. The Reaper attacked. Is that Gregson? Oh wait, no, it looked like it almost. Lost Cat! So many glowing reports we got the Great Exhibition and everything that's going on there. Other than this rather gloomy looking one, that is. Wait, what? What's the matter, Runo? The Reaper attacked. That's that's Lord Van Zykes! This must be what Mr. Sholmes is talking about. Does he know any more, I wonder? Compatriot cornered. What the shit? Something happening with Von Zykes? The Reaper attacked. It says in the paper that Lord Von Zykes was attacked. That's terrible. You know the legend of the Reaper of the Bailey, of course, don't you? Only too well, in fact. Yes. Prosecutor Ber Beric Von Zykes. The man. And there is, there's his theme. They say that if the Reaper is, in the pro is the prosecutor in a case, there's no salvation for whoever's in the dock. Even if the defendant is found not guilty. Well, Soski has pro proven that wrong, but aside from him... Once the Reaper has someone in his sights, one way or another, that person's time left on this world, Earth, will be short. London's finest rogues always find ways around the law. They'll stop at nothing to secure an acquittal at trial. Falsifying evidence, paying sham witnesses, threatening jurors, bribing judges. Well, we definitely knew a defendant that was like that. But even such devious tactics as these cannot save them from the hand of the Reaper. As you've experienced yourself, haven't you, Mr. Naruto? Yes. I've seen the Reaper's retribution at work. Any of these criminal rogues are reckless and quite unafraid to die. If a leader am among the fraternity is, sen is seen to have been taken by the Reaper, retaliation like this does occur. Really, the capital has a never-ending supply of such scoundrels. So, do you mean Lord Van Zykes has been attacked like this before? This isn't the first time. He's quite an accomplished combatant, you know. He doesn't take these attacks lying down. I mean, considering how he frickin' slams his foot on the table, I wouldn't be surprised. Although, it seems that his assailants were armed with guns this time. Oh my goodness! Is, is he alright then? Is Lord Van Zykes hurt? My dear fellow, how on earth would I know? Well, in the article here it says, As to what Lord of Lord Van Zykes and his condition, all will be revealed in tomorrow's morning edition. I see. Well, we shall have to be patient then. No, 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 I can't wait until tomorrow. Are we gonna go see him? In that case, you should have to inquire with somebody in the know. But who? What's Strawnheart, perhaps? Guess that means that's what we're doing today, is going to see him. Oh, he's getting dressed. Well, I must be leaving now. Yes, understood. See you later, Mr. Sholmes. Ha! <laughs> you really are a shameless liar sometimes, my dear fellow. What? Seek to put me off my guard and follow me, don't you? Well, you would be wasting your time. The thought hadn't crossed my mind, but now I'm wondering where you're going. <laughs> well then. See you later, indeed. We'll see him later. I don't know if it'll be the same case that we're after, though. Listen to him. He's still laughing on his way out of the door. On his way out the door. What is this? 
Alright then, Runo, let's get going. Oh, um, Iris, what are you wearing? I've got change to go to the Great Exhibition. You're going to take me. What? But, but I was just about to go to the Supreme Court. Oh, well that sounds fun too. You're gonna take me there then. Alright, fine. Just lower that weapon, would you? Of course, and after the Supreme Court, then we go to see the Great Exhibition. What is that outfit, even? I mean, I'm okay with most of it, it's just the frickin' top of it is kinda weird. Oh my god, she even has a new portrait art for it. I was not expecting it. Anyways, let's head to the Chief Justice's office. Been a while since we've been here, and the doves are still flying. British Supreme Court, lead Chief Justice's office. It's been about six months now since I was last here. Some things never change, like the sense of foreboding I always seem to feel in this place. It really does seem like a place you could see in a freaking Castlevania game, almost. Pfft. Iris just chilling with a book. Doesn't seem to be bothering Iris at all, though. She's happily reading over there. Oh, I love this place. I always find so many interesting books here. Of course, I was forgetting that you've been here before. The time we came here six months ago. Wait. Huh? When Sasato-san was given the news that she was to return to Japan. Well, there's the... There's the DLC outfit for Susato, but I, I didn't even put that one on her. What? That's weird. I don't even remember putting that outfit on her. I put on the one for Rinosuke, but I didn't put the one on for her. Huh, weird. I mean, I, I put it on to see what it looks like, but I didn't actually leave it on. I took it off. I understand you wish to speak with me. I remember I gave him a real... I gotta remember to do, like... I forget the voice I did for him. It's been a long while. I haven't had a voice him since, like, case 5 or 4 of the last game. Oh, Lord Strongheart, I trust you've been keeping well. Let's see. Since you arrived and requested an audience, it's been 4 hours, 32 minutes, and... 26 seconds. I've kept you waiting a while. My apologies. Oh no, not at all. I like... I like nothing more than standing around staring into space. Good to know. Good to know that doesn't appear to bother him at all. Male Strongheart. Lord Chief Justice of London. He's the man who allowed me to start practicing as a defense lawyer when I arrived in Britain as a student. I need only savor the air for a moment in this grand office to understand his pre preeminent status. As you will be aware, as you will be aware, the Great Exhibition of London is now underway at last. We're extremely busy as a result, policing the under, policing the grounds, guarding the newer technologies, dealing with petty crime, and furthermore, as of next month, we shall open the International Forensic Science Symposium. Simp. Oh, I've not heard about that. Investigating authorities from 40 countries around the globe will be taking part, including from your own land. Forensic science is the future. The world must embrace it. As we're the hosting nation, I have much to do. And it is my highest priority. If others must wait for my attention as a result, so be it. Well, it's nice to know where I stand. So, you wish to consult with me? Of course, I can very well imagine what this is about. Uh, well, um, thank you for agreeing to this meeting, my lord. I want to be allowed to start working as a defense lawyer again in court. That's what brought me here today. But actually, there's something else playing on my mind as it happens. Bruno, just take a deep breath and come out with it. Alright. 
permission to work. I actually came here today to ask for your permission. Go on. Six months ago, my work, my right to work in court as a liar was revoked and I was told to spend my time studying. Obviously, I'm very sorry for what happened, but the thing is, it made me understand what it really means to defend somebody under the rules of a foreign justice system. And I desperately want to have another go. Please, permit me to enter the courtroom again. Is he gonna say ex specifically how much time it took us to plead to him? Mr. N Mr. Norohoto. Yes. Uh, here it comes. I'm sure you haven't forgotten your position here, have you? At best, you are a substitute for your compatriots. This was never your intended role. Well, that's true. The Japanese government actually sent my best friend on this study tour, not me. Should have been Kazuma. He was so determined to bring change to our injustice system at home. That was his calling. Another flashback. If that tragic accident hadn't happened, are we gonna freaking see Case 1 1 and see freaking Ryanosuke and his outfit from this game? I wouldn't be here in this office now. Oh, never mind, guess not. Mr. Sogi was my best friend, you see. That's why I can't leave it unfinished. I have to fulfill his calling for him. Hmm. His calling, you say? Has it never occurred to you? That perhaps you know nothing of his true calling. Sorry? Oh, is this what we learned at the end of the last game? The myth... The, the myth in with... with you, the, the, okay, sorry. I won't... I want to talk in his actual voice that I've given him. The mission with which that young law student was charged, what do you suppose it really was? What do you mean? Mission? He's not making any sense. We're not going to get to the bottom of it right now, surely. Never mind. I've read all the reports you've submitted over the past six months. It's clear to me that you regret your actions and have been studying... Studiously obeying your revised instructions. D do you mean... As of this moment, I reinstate your license to practice law here in Great Britain. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's wonderful news, Reno. In fact, I believe I have the perfect case to mark your comeback. A curious affair. You'll consider it, I hope. Of course, please tell me more. Alright. You described it as a curious affair? Yes, that's right. I believe it was reported in the press. Are you aware that there was a serious accident at the Great Exhibition yesterday? Oh, no. Yes, I read about it. A professor from Germany tried to carry out a crazy experiment. Let me see, how is it described? Super high voltage instantaneous kinesis, I think. Instantaneous kinesis? As in moving things with a click of the fingers. That's right. It's just what my herbal blend needs. A dash of devil make cry, I'm in care. Whatever this serious accident was exactly, it's clearly captured Iris's imagination. It's an unfortunate. It's an unfortunate business. A large explosion engulfed the public experimentation stage and a man lost his life. A certain Mr. Od Odi Odiesman. O Odiesman? Odiesman? Asman? An inventor and a well-known figure in society. A large explosion? A, a man died? The, man's res the man responsible for the experiment was Professor Albert Harebrain. Harebrain, got it. Nice pun. He was detained immediately after the incident and is due to appear in court tomorrow. On the charge of murder. What? Murder? If you intend to take on his defense, you should hurry to meet up with him at prison. There is very little time left for you to carry out any kind of investigation. Great exhibition. A scientific experiment gone wrong. 
and murder. I feel out of my depth before I've even started. Still. We should go to the prison straight away then and try to meet with this German professor. Don't you think? Definitely. Oh yes. Oh yes, one more thing about the case. I use similar voices for this dude and, and von Zykes. There's a connection with our mutual acquaintance, the Reaper. Oh, with Lord Van Zykes? How? All sorts of conferences have been taking place around the world to coincide with the Great Exhibition. And next month, the largest and most important of them all will take place at last. The International Forensic Science Sy Symposium. It does seem as though criminal investigation needs to embrace scientific methods, doesn't it? Exactly. Ah! He's so dramatic! London, the global epicenter of culture, science, and wealth, now has a population exceeding 6 million. Sadly, crime in the capital is growing at a similarly, similarly startling rate. So it's imperative that we use the latest scientific methods to investigate and resolve cases as efficiently as possible. Which is, which is what's known as forensic science, isn't it? Exactly. The future of policing. Spin. Regre regrettably, however, Britain is currently dragging its feet when it comes to the adoption of forensic methods. Oh dear, that's alarming. Exactly, it's extremely alarming. Iris, how many times are you going to freak out? If I were Her Majesty's Atter Attorney General, you can be sure. The numbers of crimes committed and resolved in London would be very different to the current figures. And I can cite 12 solid arguments and 12 and 223 individual reasons to support my claim. Yo, he cites his sources, this man. He don't use Wikipedia. Sorry? By way of apology for keeping you waiting earlier, I shall detail every one now. What? Oh, how fascinating! Please don't. It all began 15 years ago. I was... Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. The fading out and fade to white! Oh no. Poor Rinosuke couldn't get away. The man holds too much power. Yo, can you go over how much time you spent on that, since you love keeping track of time so much? And that more or less sums up my feelings on the matter, in the simplest of terms, of course. Essentially, to formally establish a forensic investigation division with Scotland Yard. That is my mission. Oh, um, right. Yes, that's... Wonderful. Exactly. Wonderful is precisely what it will be. Iris isn't paying attention at all. She's got her nose in another book now. Oh, is it over? Did you learn anything useful? I actually drifted off for the most part. Surprisingly ardent about forensic science. Okay, but what if I present this to you? By the way, Lord Strongheart, about this. The symbol of a defense lawyer in the Japanese judiciary. Oh, I, I didn't expect you'd know that. We never accept foreign students before first researching the legal systems of their home countries. But such trinkets are merely for show. The only true measure of your worth is your perfor performance in court. Yes, right. Okay, you got anything to say about this one? Oh, that reminds me. Have you seen this? The reports of the overwhelming success of the Great Exhibition, of course. No, no, not that. The story on the back page. What story? The Reaper attacked. Ah, that. You've enjoyed some victories in court against my number one prosecutor, have you not? Poor Mr. Reaper. What happened to him? He, he wasn't killed, was he? 
There's no need for concern. Lord Van Zykes would not be so easily dispatched, I assure you. Can you tell us what happens? I'd really love to know. Very well. If it interests you. It does. Strangely. Okay. I'm glad we got to know we get to know more about this. Fortunately, Lord Von Lord Von Zykes um, emerged from the attack unscathed. Street ruffians are no match for that man. He's a very capable fighter. But but that's incredible. They were armed with guns. How was the attack though? Do we know? It's related to events that occurred a month ago. A leader of one of the capital's criminal organizations was in, was indicted and prosecuted by von Zykes. But the man was acquitted. I've no I've no doubt large sums of money were involved behind the the scenes. Was that a case we were involved in? Because I thought he's only been involved in cases with us. Ever since he returned, that is. Large sums of money? A deplorable situation. Members of the jury were bribed, it seems. However, despite winning his freedom, the man in question met a dramatic end yesterday. But you're not suggesting that was the work of the Reaper, surely? The victim's henchman certainly seemed to think so. He was a man by the name of Asman. Mr. Odi Asman. D did you say Asman? That's the man. That's the man who died in the big explosion at the Great Exhibition. Yes, known publicly as an investor, but in reality, the head of a significant cr criminal organization. Unbelievable. I wonder, could I ask you something, Lord Strongheart? Try me. Wow. That was real blunt. Why do you lure the Lord Van Zykes as a prosecutor? All the criminals who managed to get off in court then meet with mysterious ends outside the courtroom. And fearful of that fate, they seek to, stri to strike at Lord Van Zykes first. I know there's no evidence that he actually is the Reaper in that sense, but still. Something's clearly going on here. I have Van Zykes- I have Van Zykes working for the I have Van Zykes work for the prosecution service for two reasons. Firstly, the man is the best prosecutor in the capital, bar none. And secondly, any deaths of criminals that have occurred outside the courtroom following his trials are nothing to do with him. But that doesn't make sense. How can you explain the way so many have died if not by someone's hands? Von Zykes may have earned himself the moniker of the Reaper, but he is no killer. So he will continue to prosecute on behalf of the Crown. Unless he wishes otherwise, of course. Huh. There's a lot to be delved into with that man still. Well, I must be leaving for my next engagement. I'm already 11 hours and 16 minutes late. My colleagues may be starting to fidget. 11 hours late? That's quite something. That meeting had already started when I arrived back here for this engagement with you. So lateness was inevitable. Time stops or no man. I'm sure it stopped for me during those 12 solid arguments and 223 reasons. Oh yes, where would I find Lord Van Zykes now? I would assume he's at his office. Right, I'll go and ask him about, his, about the attack in person. I want to get this straight from the horse's mouth. We've never... Away with you now. I'm leaving Professor Hairbrain's def defense entirely in your hands. Of of course, yes. Thank you very much, my lord. Wow. And with that, we're done here. We have two places left to go. Prosecutor's office. A place we've never been to before. And, oh man, that's going to be interesting. I wonder if he's, like, chief prosecutor or something, considering how, how like, highly spoke of he is. And then we have to go to the prison as well to see our client. I don't know, I don't know which we'll do first, but either way, 
next time on Great Ace Attorney 2, Resolve, we're going to probably end up heading to both of those places. We'll go see our clients, and then we'll go see Von Zykes or vice versa. Adios, ciao, and bye-bye. Signing off until next time. Ja, mata ne.